Today we are taking you to the prestigious Swan Terrace Restaurant, located at the Founders Inn in Virginia Beach, where executive chef Tony Loves will be creating an exciting recipe featuring Coleman's original English mustard. Few brand names are so firmly linked to a product as the name Coleman's is to mustard. Coleman's history dates back to 1814 England, when Jeremiah Coleman first created this unique, strong and spicy mustard. Since then, Coleman's has been a staple in English kitchens and pubs, as well as a worldwide favorite. The ultimate seal of approval was given in 1866, when Queen Victoria bestowed the royal warrant upon Coleman's mustard. Her Royal Majesty's household still uses Coleman's products today, and the royal warrant graces each Coleman's item. To prepare Coleman's dry mustard, mix with equal parts cold water, let sit for 10 minutes, and you've created fresh, tangy mustard with a kick. As a dry mustard or spicy flour, Coleman's is the perfect way to add remarkable flavor to any dish. Now let's check in with Chef Tony and see what he has cooking for us today. Hi, I'm Tony Los, executive chef of Founders Inn. Today we're going to be preparing a roasted chicken breast with a Coleman's mustard spetzel, a leek and mushroom hash. Let's go over the ingredients. We have an airline chicken breast, approximately 8 to 10 ounces, our sliced shiitake mushrooms, sliced leeks, 5 eggs, 2 cups of flour, some fresh rosemary sprigs, our Coleman's mustard, and then some fresh chives. So what we do is we add the flour to the bowl, crack in our eggs, it's 2 cups of flour for 5 eggs, just mix the dough together. Now we're going to add our mustard. Approximately three tablespoons of mustard. You're going to have to mix your dough approximately for three to five minutes. This is the perfect consistency we want. It's going to be nice and sticky, not too soft, but soft enough that you're going to be able to push it through a strainer or a colander, I should say, over the boiling water. So there's our dough. We're going to add some chopped chives into this mixture. So we want to do some fine chop on that. We're going to add that into the, the dough. We're going to mix this into it, and then we're going to let the dough rest for about three to four minutes. Okay, so at this stage, we have our dough resting. What we're going to do now is we're going to pan sear the chicken breast. So we want to salt it well, pepper. We have a saute pan on medium to medium high heat, a little bit of olive oil. I should also say that in the back here I have some salted boiling water getting ready to uh, blanch the uh, spetzel. So that's nice to have so you don't have to wait for it. Now we're going to go on with our chicken breast. While the chicken's cooking I'll talk a little bit about how we're going to cook the spetzel. Over the boiling water, we're going to add the dough and we're going to push it through these holes. And that's going to create our spetzel. So as our chicken breast cooks, we're just going to give it a nice golden brown sear. So at this stage, we go into the oven for 10 to 11 to 12 minutes or so. To do your spetzel, you're going to cook it for about three minutes when it hits the water. You're going to need an ice bath to shock it as it comes out. And all you're going to do is you're going to set your colander over the top, use a rubber spatula, and then you literally just press it through. You can see it's falling out the bottom. That's exactly what we want. When the spetzel hits the water, it's going to go to the bottom, and you know when all of the spetzel floats that it's ready to be removed. And then we pull it out, and we shock it. It's important not to leave the spetzel in the water. If you leave it in there too long, it's going to get soggy. Then back over here. On the stove, we preheat a high saute pan, a little bit of olive oil, and then we add our leeks. There we go. Now we're going to add some shiitake mushrooms. Spetzel goes in.
Okay. So from this state, we go build our plate. So we have our beautiful leek and shiitake hash mixed into our Coleman's mustard spetzel. We have our beautiful pan seared and then oven roasted chicken breast. And what we do here at the restaurant at the Founders is we, we add just a little bit of truffle demi a little bit of chervil vinaigrette, give it a nice accent. And then we garnish it with some fine julienne red pepper and then a sprig of rosemary. So that was a roasted chicken breast with a leek and shiitake hash, a Coleman's mustard spetzel. Right here at the Founders Inn, I'm Executive Chef Tony Lowe. Thanks for joining us. The origins of mustard date back to 460 BC and has been grown in the fields of England since Roman times. In these early days, mustard seeds were ground at the table in much the same way that black pepper is today. Coleman's became the world's first mustard millers, milling the heart of the mustard seed into a fine mustard flour and also establishing mustard as an essential food ingredient. Dry or prepared, with Coleman's mustard you've got exactly what's needed to make each dining event a special occasion. To learn more about Coleman's mustard, please visit www.colemansmustard.com or call 908-630-9701.